I'm Chrissy Duffy for Smart Trend News. Citigroup analysts said that a meeting with Dr. Pepper Snapple management allays their concerns about earnings. Analyst Wendy Nicholson said, quote, the weaker U.S. consumer is not only pressuring overall category growth, but is also driving mixed shift within DPS's business. Specifically, there is relative strength in the company's Dr. Pepper and Crush brands for which 75% of case volume is sold by DPS as a concentrate to CCE and PAP. This concentrate has a low selling price but a high margin. DPS is seeing relative weakness in its premium and packaged goods business, including Mott's and Snapple, which are sold at higher revenue price points when compared to concentrate but at much lower margins. As a result, while DPS's current mix is pressuring sales growth, it is enhancing its blended margin. Therefore, while we acknowledge that there could be risk to our forecast for roughly 3% local currency sales growth in third quarter 2010, we remain confident in our forecast for $0.61 cents in EPS. The bank sees fiscal 2010 EPS of $2.42, which is up against Wall Street's estimate of $2.39 per share, and fiscal 2011 EPS of $2.92 versus Wall Street's estimate of $2.76 per share. Citigroup maintains its buy rating on the stock. Smart Trend alerted subscribers to take profits in Dr. Pepper Snapple on August 11th when the stock was at a price of 36.76. Since then, the stock has fallen by five and a third percent. We're now watching for any positive developments that could result in a new uptrend signal. I'm Chrissy Duffy for Smart Trend News. For more news and market analysis, make sure you're subscribed to our YouTube channel. That's Trade the Trend. Also visit our website, tradethetrend.com, for more headlines.